Hello there and welcome to Trains, Planes and Automobiles. Right, what we will be talking about today is the 1969 HMS Conqueror Submarine. Fourth boat of the Royal Navy's Valiant class of nuclear powered attack submarines commissioned from the mid 1960s. The Valiants were based quite closely on the experimental HMS Dreadnought, the Royal Navy's first ever nuclear powered vessel. Enlarged somewhat to accommodate the British design reactor, the reactor which powered Dreadnought had been an American Westinghouse SA5W as fitted to the USS Skipjack and many later boats. The HMS Conqueror, also known as the S48, was constructed by the Camel Lard. Laid down on the 5th of December 1967, she was launched on the 28th of September 1969 and completed on the 9th of November 1971. In 1988, the age of the reactors began to give cause for concern and when cracks started appearing, it was decided to pay them off. The Conqueror was laid up pending disposal in the 1990s. The Valiant class boats were equipped with six 21 inch 533mm torpedo tubes in the bow. Initially they carried Mark 8 free running torpedoes developed as long ago as the 1930s. These were soon superseded by the interim Mark 23 and then by the Mark 24 Tigerfish, wire guided with both active and passive acoustic homing devices and in the range of excess of 17.5 nautical miles. Churchill was chosen to evaluate the Mark 48 with its liquid monopropellant motor and consequent higher speed and longer range. A sister submarine, Courageous, was the first to deploy sub harpoon. The submarine launched anti-ship guided missiles. Technical data. She was a nu nuclear attack submarine. Machinery one nuclear reactor driving one geared steam turbine giving a 15,000 shp. She was 86.9 meters long and 10.1 meters wide. She had a crew of 103 and speed of 20 knots or 28 knots submerged. The Conqueror was limited only by crew endurance. She had a range of a maximum of 400,000 miles. And I'm pretty sure the HMS Conqueror has got to be one of the most famous submarines, if not ships in the world, or British at least. She was famous for the Falklands War for doing damage on the Argentinians in the Falklands War. So this submarine why most are deterrents actually was in war and I did great damage thanks for listening and please like comment subscribe thank you bye bye